Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? This is Ray and in this video, I want to talk about Strip Silence. Strip Silence is a tool that comes in Pro Tools and I'm going to show you guys how to use it. Now, when I get a session, the first thing I like to do, I go through every single track and I clean everything up. I go through the ad-libs and I'll clean up the headphone bleed. I'll get rid of any noise that the artist is making with his mouth. I remember I got a session and during the ad-libs, I heard people talking in the background. So I got rid of all of that. I'll go through the main vocals and I'll get rid of the breaths. That's if the artist wants that. Over here, I got a session. I got hi-hat, I got a snare, I got two kicks. This beat was made with an MPC. When the producer tracked everything into Pro Tools, maybe the cables they were using, they weren't that good because in between some of the kicks, there's some noise. So let me zoom in. Okay, let me just... Make sure I'm not selecting any of the kick. And over here, I have a plugin that we're going to use to determine if we have any noise going on there. We're going to be using the BF noise meter. So let's hit play. Oh, yeah, something's definitely going on there. Now, I like to use this meter because there's been times where I'm not picking up anything here. But this is definitely picking something up. Even if there wasn't any noise, when I get the session, I'll go through the whole entire track and I'll get rid of everything. It should look something like this when you're done. Let me undo that. Let's open Strip Silence. So you're going to hold down Control U and Strip Silence should open. Let's say when you open Strip Silence, it's like this. If I hit Strip now, it's going to get rid of some of your sound. And you don't want that, so let's undo. So what you want to do, you want to fine tune it. So over here in the threshold, let me go down a little bit. Nope. There you go, that's pretty good right there. As you can see, it selected the kick and it didn't select none of the noise. So what you wanna do, you wanna hit strip and there you go. So yeah, you could fine tune it. You could play with the duration, with the start pad, with the end pad until you select the sound you want. And remember guys, go through the whole entire track and make sure it's not cutting any of the sound. So let me undo that. Let me show you some of the other features that Strip Silent has. Now, I don't really use any of these features, but you have separate, extract, and rename. I'm going to select the part I want, and I want to hit separate. And there you go. As you can see, it separated each kick. So if I wanted to, go open a new track. I could select this one, or copy it, get rid of it, go down, and paste it there. But you know what? I don't really want to do that. Now, the next thing you have is extract. And when you select extract, as you can see, it completely gets rid of the kick. Let's undo that. And then rename. It's going to rename your track. So I'm going to call this kick 101. And there you go, kick 101. So there you go, guys. That's how you use Strip Silence. Go try it out. Definitely a pretty good tool to use. I use it a lot. All right, guys, if you liked the video, please post in the bottom. If I missed anything, let me know. Give me a thumbs up and press that subscribe button. This is Rain, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.